this was originally episode 10 of on review and this is the um, aid to the album by progressive rock band Canadian progressive rock band Rush and it is moving pictures and yeah this is of course the the real break to breakthrough records by the band because uh, they had made 2112 which was a uh, which was a successful album for them and then they made records like Hemispheres and Permeating Waves which uh, only cemented their place as one of the finest progressive rock bands but then they really really perfected the uh, commercial and the progressive rock elements together to make this uh, to make this record because Hemispheres was really complex and Permeating Waves was really uh, commercial so it is basically a uh, a combination of those two records and you got uh, moving pictures which is yeah still in my opinion the best rush record and i think we can all agree on that um yeah this record has seven songs and the opener the first one is of course uh, tom sire written by neil Peart and by the boys not sure if uh dubious something like that um, yeah, I mean this song it is four and a half minutes long. Everyone knows this track Just the iconic drumming by Neil Peart who, uh, that opens it up that iconic keyboard that this is just such an epic song the uh, the lyrics by uh, Getty Lee that open up the song as well uh, Really great Neil Peart just drums and drums phenomenal on this track one of the best drumming tracks I've ever heard uh, on Tom Sawyer it is a phenomenal track, although um, it is a bit of a popular one. So, if uh, if, if people are are gonna mention Rush or they know Rush, it is mostly Tom Sawyer, which gets a bit tiring on me. That uh, only uh, that people only know this track, but um, it is so popular for a reason. It is a masterpiece. I really lo love this opening track. Um, yeah, it is just an uh, 11 out of 10. A great track. Uh, Neil Peart just drums great on this track, the bass is really uh, present by Geddy Lee, one of the best basses of all time. No, 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 sorry, correction, I'm gonna correct myself, the best uh, bass player ever, Geddy Lee. And uh, Alex Liveson plays phenomenal uh, guitar solos on here as well. Uh, then we got Red Barchetta, the second song, which is more bass driven, and this is about a car, so... I'm not really interested in myself into cars, but Rush can make this interesting. The the bass, like I said, by, from Geddy Lee is really really thick. Um, it is mostly dominated by him on here, and uh, we get some nice keyboards, some nice keyboards uh, midway through the song. Really great to listen to, and the riffs by um, by Alex Live are really phenomenal as well. Uh, drumming tracks are really really great they really work off each other perfectly that's why rush is uh, the trio band uh, the number one trio band of all time and they're just perfect together they work per perfectly uh, off each other in this track uh, then we get yyc which is uh, written by Geddy Lee and uh, neil peart neil peart mostly wrote all the songs and alex live and Geddy Lee. Uh, do something here and there uh, but yeah this song is a classic i love this instrumental uh, arguably their best instrumental of all time <coughs> i just love the the symbols at the beginning that you hear and then that uh, and then the song gets really heavy arguably they're the heaviest song of the record um, yeah this, this song is just great i love it uh, it is a great instrumental it's really <coughs> really complex it is really um yeah just really technical um, yeah, and uh, what I love most about this is uh, Alex Lifeson's guitar solo on there when he um, when he taps at the end. This is really great to listen to as well. Re uh, yeah, one of their best instrumentals. YBZ is a classic, and yeah, one of the best, like I said. Uh, then we get Limelight, which is um, a bit of a B-side for Tom Sawyer because it is similar to that song, but it is not as popular. But it's still kind of is it's the second uh, most popular of the record yeah this uh, this side one is basically uh, flawless i really love side one uh limelight is great as well 
really love the guitar riff intro by uh, Alex Lives and really great uh, riffs throughout this track. Really love the lyrics as well on here. Uh, really love that the drumming and the guitars really come in place and get heavier and heavier as the song progresses. Really love that about Limelight. Um, yeah, and the drum solo at the end is really phenomenal as well. Uh, probably my favorite part that just new pair just drums like crazy at the end. It's, it is just phenomenal. Uh, then we get the camera eye, which is I believe about. Um, talking about publicity, talking about popularity, how how that is for Rush, and the camera eye is the longest song of the album, which is 11 minutes long. Um, yeah, the song is just really, really diverse again. Uh, it is mostly really quiet, mostly uh, keyboard driven and um, heavy on the bass. So Geddy is mostly dominating on air, but we still get some uh, really nice drum fills, and uh, the guitarists really help to. Uh, to keep everything in place, to uh, held everything together. So um, yeah, the band is really doing a flawless job here. Um, I like ca the camera eye. Um, I don't think it is as uh, perfect as side one because you don't. That that is just basically impossible. But it still is a classic song and a really complex one and arguably the best one of the record for some people. Not mine, but. And because of the length and because it is a bit more complex, stuff like that, it has multiple sections too. Um, Witch Hunt is the sixth song of the record and um, Witch Hunt is a really interesting song as well. The, the last two songs are really uh, funny, uh, ironic I guess, but now it, it is actually quite uh, a coincidence that these two final songs are both four, 4 minutes and 46 seconds so how that works out I'm, I have no idea but I believe they still are singles uh, no only Limelight or uh, Vital Science I'm, I mean uh, Witch Hunt is a, a really really interesting song to listen to it is uh, mostly um, again, really um, heavy on the bass. Um, yeah, the, the lyrics actually are really interesting as well because, and just talking about the witch and I believe, talking about <coughs> the fear, what the witch is gonna do, um, if she's gonna poison you. So, the song has a really industrial and a really dark vibe to it. <coughs> and what I most love about the song is uh, the keyboard sections. The do -do -do -do. Just that moment is just uh, heavenly. It is really a uh, gold light to listen to. It just feels like Rush is taking you to uh, to their to their uh, chill lounge to, to their heaven because they really are heavenly. They probably are God because I mean they are just the the band. They're just uh, great. I love them. Uh, then we get the final song, which is Vital Signs and. Um, yeah, this song reminds me a bit again of uh, Tom Sawyer, so it is basically a Tom Sawyer part 2. <coughs> really, uh, really great drums, again on the air of Vital Signs. Um, I really love the riffs throughout, uh, great catchy riffs on the Vital Signs. Basically every riff, every drum fill, every uh, bass part on every song is just phenomenal. And Vital Signs is really upbeat, it is really catchy and it's... Um, I understand why it is the third single because it is really uh, catchy and <coughs> just a great closer man. Uh, it it perfectly represents what moving pictures is all about, staying complex although you uh, sound uh, commercial but the song is still really complex and real, really uh, rush. It still is rush but with a commercial um, sound to it. So I think that the vital signs perfectly represent what the album is all about. Uh, overall, I really, really love this record. It is one of my favorite albums of all time. Requested by Rock Do, by the way, I didn't, uh, I didn't say that. Uh, this is, by the way, the inside, the the back side, the front, the uh, fingerprint. Um, yeah. So overall, while I'm showing you this, I'm gonna give this record a ten. Um, then, like I said, it is just a perfect record. We have, uh, I believe, song lyrics on there. Yeah, we have song lyrics on there, and the band. Look at that. Look at that. Um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this album review. Let me know what you think about moving pictures, and take care.
I hope you enjoy Rush, all of them.